Look, I get it. The thumper is really bad, but at least it's not a launcher. So if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be linked in the description below. The M79 is the wet fart of weapons in this game. Its main use is to destroy ground equipment and hit marker people with flak jacket. So if you're a gaming masochist and you're only using this weapon to get dark matter, you've come to the right place. Let's get into some camos. For the spray camo, you need to kill 30 enemies in multiplayer. 30 kills is laughable for a challenge, even with this gun. Equip the Danger Close Wild card to give you more starting ammo, and throw on Scavenger as well to keep resupplying ammo for this pea shooter. The best way to get kills with this thing is to directly impact people. But if you can't do that consistently, two shots should take down non-flak jacket opponents. Meleeing opponents also works if you're fine with potentially clubbing children to death. In-game, obviously, for the FBI guy watching this. Also, you're going to want to play Nuketown 24-7 to get this done. It's a super small map where you're never more than a few feet away from a potential kill. If Nuketown isn't available, go ahead and hop in some Domination and try to play smaller maps to make it easier. As for Core versus Hardcore, that's all down to preference. I prefer Core, but if Hardcore works for you, then roll with it. Difficulty? Cake. For the Stripes camo, you need to get 50 long shot medals in multiplayer. This one is a problem. I basically got every other challenge done before this one because I put off trying to learn long shot spots for too long. But I found some easy lineups on Nuketown that can help you get this done. You're basically going to line these up like smokes in CSGO. Shout out to Cruxel. Stand at this barrel in the yellow house spawn and line it up with the longest vertical part of your crosshair with the lining of this door. And at the bottom of it, line it up with the chimney on this house. When done correctly, this should hit people camping by the bunker. For the greenhouse spawn, you're going to want to come over to the barrel by the bunker and line up the bottom of your crosshair with the white paint on top of the garage. This will give you some easy long shots on door campers. You can also move it to the left and right a little bit to hit different parts of the garage. Also, for both of these, make sure your back is against the fence to increase your odds of getting a long shot kill. I'm sure there's better long shot spots on Nuketown, but I got all my long shots done in less than a day by using these two. So if you have any other long shot spots, leave them in the comments below. If there's no Nuketown 24-7 playlist, I'm sorry dude, but Dirty Bomb might be your best bet. But it's gonna be a struggle. Good luck, soldier. Difficulty? Pain. For the classic camo, you need 2 kills without dying 20 times in multiplayer. This one is honestly not too bad. Small maps and objective based game modes are the way to go if you want to get this done quick. Launch it into buildings and add objectives to increase your chance of getting a 2 for 1 kill. But these are pretty rare, so you're going to need to get a kill, back up to a safe spot to reload, and hope another poor SOB gets killed by the wet noodle launcher. Also, stims and armor can help keep you alive longer. But this just comes down to positioning yourself and your shots well and playing patiently. Difficulty? Dr. Phil. For the geometric camo, you need to destroy 50 equipment, score streaks, or vehicles in multiplayer. First things first, you're going to need to stop what you're doing and put on the engineer perk. Everything this perk outlines in red will count towards this challenge. You're mainly going to be taking out anything on the ground. I've tried taking out helicopters and such with it, but I ended up just becoming a dollar store artillery strike. Which, in all fairness, isn't too bad, but it doesn't help with this challenge. Game modes like Combined Arms and Dirty Bomb can help you, but aren't as efficient as good old Nuketown. Just be on the lookout for anything that pops up with Engineer, and you should have this done in no time. Difficulty? Smegma. For the Flora camo, you need to kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. This camo still doesn't make the most sense to me, but from my understanding of it, as long as the person you take out is semi-peeking out or around cover, it should count for this challenge. Great spots to look out for are the windows on Nuketown, the little trailer in the middle, and almost anywhere inside the houses. A lot of this comes down to your positioning as well. If you put yourself in a spot where someone could possibly look like they're behind an object on the map, it boosts your potential of getting progress for this camo. But, COD will COD and you'll get hoed out of some shots that should count. But just stay persistent and you'll get it done. Difficulty? Kinda bad though sometimes. For the science camo, you destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times a multiplayer. This is the ripe asshole of these challenges. For this, I went into Dirty Bomb with my engineer perk equipped and went after any vehicle or score streak I could find. Streaks are dropped a lot in this mode, especially sentry turrets. And that's easy progress towards this camo. Also, look out for when a dirty bomb is about to explode and be ready to take out teams leaving the radiation area on vehicles. You might need to take yourself out a few times to get in position to get to these vehicles, so rip your KD, but it'll be worth it. Also, I recommend bringing another gun to work on for this mode if there's no vehicles nearby. And if you need more ammo, there's resupply crates near most of the dirty bombs and scavenger can help as well. Difficulty? Cleveland Steamer. For the psychedelic camo, you need to get 25 double kills. Once you get to the weapon level to unlock this challenge, you should already start to be getting a feel for this gun. Nuketown is key. Get a shot and hide behind some cover and reload and go for another. This takes the right amount of skill, luck, and positioning to get done. The window you have between kills is pretty small, so you have to act fast. Objectives in small areas like the houses or side yards are nice spots to possibly get one shot double kills, but you have to be persistent to get this done. Using nades or stem taxes can also help lower health of enemies, making it easier to get double kills. Difficulty? Dookie. That's all the tips I have for getting the M79 gold. If this helped you at all or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, 
dislike. And if you're part of the 67% of people who watch my videos and aren't subscribed, help a dude out and hit that sub button. Also, I stream the grind over on Twitch, so come stop by to see the pain live. All my links will be in the description below if you want to see some more content. And if you watch all the way to the end of the video, leave a F in the comments below for everyone grinding this gun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and one more thing, if you have a difficulty suggestion and you want to see it in a video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and if I like it, I'll put it in there. Alright, now I'm really out of here. See you guys.